Friends, welcome. Uh, thank you for watching these videos. Uh, this is a short one. And the uh, purpose of these videos are to share the things that um, intrigue me and jump out at me when I'm reading God's Word. The Bible's pretty clear in Hebrews. It talks about the Word of God's alive, it's active, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. So when I read this, I've uh, been through the Bible a few times now, and I just want to read it um, as it sits in the Amplified, and we'll, we'll look at the ESV also. And um, the misconception I have before I begin, I think most Christians and non-Christians have, is that Abram, or Abraham later, um, took his wife's servant to be a concubine and have children with. But let's read and see what God's Word says. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children. She had an Egyptian maid whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, See here, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. I'm asking you to have intercourse with my maid. It may be that I can, have, that I can obtain children by her. And surprise, surprise, Abram listened to her and heeded what Sarai had said. So Sarai, which is really Sarah, we'll find later on, and Abram. So Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her Egyptian maid, after Abram had dwelt ten years in land in Canaan, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his secondary wife, his wife. So right there in verse 3, it clearly says that Sarai gave Abram, her mistress to be his wife so we can read it again right here in the ESV so Abram had lived ten years land in Canaan Sarai Abram's wife took Hagar the Egyptian her servant and gave her to Abram to be her husband I'm sorry and gave her to Abram her husband as a wife so Abram actually married Hagar and for many years uh, in my Christian walk, I just assumed she was a concubine. I knew she was Sarah or Sarai's servant woman. Um, and I just thought he had these privileges with her, so to speak. But in reality, the Bible is very clear. And it says that that was his wife. So later on, when you read about Ishmael and uh, the heartbreak and the crying on the tree and the angel of the Lord coming to, to save her, and spare her, um, I think it has more impact and power because she was his wife. Legally, she was his wife, and that was his son, a legitimate son uh, from that marriage, meaning not a, not a um, child born out of wedlock. So just something that I found from reading the Bible, I'd encourage you, and hopefully these kinds of videos will spark you to get in there, to put eyes on page, and to actually read um, the Bible yourself and just pray that the Holy Spirit does his work in you and that these truths are revealed in you. Um, a lot of these videos are designed not to be controversial but just my own personal experience uh, how God revealed things to me. So I would hope it's a blessing to you. I hope it would be an encouragement to you to just get in there and read and see what God has for you. Uh, just like any relationship in this world, if you don't spend time with that person, there is no relationship. So the Lord Jesus um, wants you to have a relationship with him. So if you don't know that, uh, please read the book of Romans. And my life verse is Romans 10, 9 and 10. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart... One believes unto righteousness, and with a mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And a little bit later on, in verse 13, it says, Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you don't know the Lord, if you haven't repented from your sins, if you haven't trusted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, uh, I would encourage you to, to spend time in his word, um, to pray for the forgiveness of your sins, and um, repent. The Lord is uh, not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering towards us, not willing that any should perish, 
but that all should come to repentance. And that's my prayer for you that are watching these videos. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, please spend time in His Word. God bless you, and thanks for watching.